Moose are a pretty scary animal on their own. They're the second largest animal in body mass in North America, second only to the American bison. They can run super fast, they can swim, and they tend to get aggressive, but kind of the most scary thing about them is their antlers. Their antlers grow and shed every year over a span of about three months, making them one of the fastest growing organs in animals. And after they're fully grown, they're covered in this velvet, which then they have to scrape off. And that velvet is vascularized, meaning it has blood vessels and veins running throughout it. So when it is scraped off, it looks pretty freaky with those scraps of skin basically, and that blood. Now, antler growth is heavily, heavily linked to hormones, specifically testosterone. So sometimes when the testosterone gets fucked up, so does the antler growth, and that results in something called devil's antlers. Devil's antlers are these freaky mutant antlers that come as a result of usually castration, either physical or chemical. Don't, just don't think too much into that. Most of the time accidental, just don't, don't think too much about that. It can also happen as a result of old age when an elderly male moose does not make as much testosterone so the antlers don't develop properly. But basically when the testosterone production gets a little screwed up, they immediately drop whatever antlers they have, their normal healthy antlers, and start growing these freaky mutant antlers. And these devil antlers, they don't shed like normal antlers at the end of the season. They just kind of stay on the head of the moose and they also continue growing. Now, they're also apparently rather frail and brittle, so they do break off and aren't usually a problem when they become so big that the, it affects the moose's quality of life, as far as I know. But it is still an issue with things like mating and self-defense and kind of displays against other male moose. Now, testosterone is a hormone linked to stopping antler growth, so when there's no testosterone, again, these antlers just keep growing until they either get so big that the blood flow doesn't reach there properly and the ends just kind of die, or until parts of it snap off because, again, they're pretty brittle. So while not super life-threatening, it is still not great for the moose, and it does look pretty freaky.